history, we, as humans, have used the power of our minds to achieve incredible and amazing feats. In reality, our minds are simply tools we use to create our thoughts. And the quality of our thoughts determines the quality of our experiences. A simple shift in perception will quickly and easily improve how you feel and what you believe is possible. Helping you to achieve all of your personal goals. Even those that previously seemed unattainable. Join us now as we explore the vast landscapes of our minds. This is Mind Over Matter. Good evening. Hi, Mitch. Hi, how are you, Brandy? I'm doing really well. How are you? Good. I'm doing really good, really good. Having a, just a wonderful evening. It's been a great weekend so far. Good. I'm Brandilyn Jokiel. I'm Mitch Friedman. Welcome to Mind Over Matter, where we teach you how to use the power of your mind to achieve more, feel better, and get more of what you want. Oh, that all sounds good to me. Sounds like a good plan. Yep. I didn't do so good on that last night. Nope. I, c- I used, I had to go into some of our relaxation <laughs> techniques that we demonstrated last week. Well, good. At least you're, ta- at least you're walking the talk. <laughs> I am trying to walk the talk, but I had what um, some people term technical difficulties. I don't know if anybody has ever experienced, like, you have to get something done on your computer and it's just not working out oh, for you. Oh, one of those kinds of nights. Oh, my God. It, it went from those. 1 o'clock in the afternoon till 9 o'clock at night. And it had to do with get, getting like clips ready for the show. And I was like beside myself. And Bernie, my husband, kept coming in, like rubbing my shoulders and doing everything <laughs> he knew how to do technically. I'm like, Mercury's not even in retrograde. What's <laughs> happening? So I finally got some of the stuff together that we needed. But there's a f- couple of really cool clips that I wanted to show you guys today on our show that... Unfortunately, it just didn't happen. But I'll give you um, some information on how to view them. Anyhow. They were great clips. I, I saw. I checked them out. I was. They were really great clips. So Brandy will give you a way to access them online, and you go, you can go check them out on your own. I feel like I'm being like Mysterio. We haven't even said what the show is about tonight. <laughs> <laughs> keep them guessing. You keep them guessing. guessing. Can you guess? Like the first person who calls us right now and guesses what our show is about receives a new washer and dryer. <laughs> <laughs> Like the, on the prices, right? Then I, I want that new washer and dryer. That would be I'm nice. I'm going to run out to my cell phone right now and give myself a call. <laughs> That's cheating. So did you have a good Thanksgiving? <laughs> I did. It was wonderful. Great food, great company, nice celebration, a good day to sit and be grateful again for all of the bounty that all the food. we have. All the food <laughs> and bounty and all of that stuff. How about yours? How was yours? Yeah, it was really good. You know, it's funny because normally I'm just grateful for the food. Mm -hmm. (laughs) I love all the food at Thanksgiving. I love turkey. But this year I felt myself being pretty grateful for a lot of things and that was kind of neat. I felt I was in a really deep sense of appreciation and I know we've talked about that in teaching, how that's just accessing that super conscious part of our mind. It just felt so good. I really have been appreciating, appreciating. (laughs) <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah, it's been really, 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 really good. So. You know, I talk about Nick sometimes on the show, my son, four-year-old son, soon to be five. And about three weeks ago, I was tucking him to bed, and he looked at me with those eyes that he has, and he says, I'm thankful for you, Mama. And it just about melted my heart. Oh, and almost so every day now, he says that to me. I, I guess in his preschool, they had been talking about gratitude and thankfulness with Thanksgiving coming up. And so he's like really into it, which is just phenomenal. So he, And then last night, I tucked him into bed and he said, I'm thankful for Ella, his sister, and, and for you, Mama, and Daddy. And just I could just see him just going into gratitude and appreciation, which is one of the better 
better feeling states. Oh, it's so good, you know, and we already know that, you know, two thoughts can't be held in that subconscious acting out part of our mind at the same time. So when we're in appreciation, that's it. That's all that's happening. There's no limiting thoughts, no limited beliefs. We just get to be in that really wonderful place. In fact, I use that a lot for myself as one of the tools, since we're talking about tools in our last few shows. But one of the tools I use for myself when I get to just in that place of just feeling like life is hard, you Mm -hmm. know, I start thinking about things and writing them down and think about it a minimum of three things that I appreciate about anything. Right. I mean, sometimes I'm pulling, I'm, I'm really like pulling at straws to find find some of those things. But even it, just a beautiful day, grateful for, uh, I have a lot of animals and I'm an animal lover. So just mm-hmm. be grateful for my animals usually brings that really great feeling. I'm so. grateful for big, deep breaths <sighs> ah. that activate the parasympathetic nervous system. And the other day I was talking to my daughter, Gabriella, who's soon to be 14. And she said, you know, on Thanksgiving, I'm going to be really grateful for everything in my life. And I said, well... You don't have to wait until Thanksgiving. You can do that now kind of thing. You know, I'm like, oh, teenager, I'm kind of getting on her. And she looks at me, little teenage flair, little teenage attitude. But she says, Mom, I'm thankful every single day. And I thought, wow, cool. So it's it's going in even with the, the teenage stuff that goes on and things like that. Wouldn't so. it be nice if we just expressed that kind of stuff to each other more on a daily basis, just how much we appreciate really all that really good stuff that we think about and feel about each other usually isn't expressed. People have a hard time expressing People don't have a hard time expressing all the negative side of all of that. But Sometimes. for some reason, we have a hard time expressing all those really great things. I mean, it's hard. I know people always say, love you. And that always cracks me up because, you know, I love you is mm-hmm. so powerful. And for some reason, a lot of people have a hard time saying, I love you. Mm-hmm. Love you. You know, to me, that's just a little bit more shallow. But uh, that's my agenda. I love I love you. I love you too, Rich. <laughs> and, you know... Now that we're talking about appreciation, kind of off the cuff, on the fly here, I would really like to appreciate our viewers. I'd like to appreciate all of the students that Mitch and I have had the honor to teach who've actually sat and listened to the things that we say. I'd like to... (laughs) (laughs) And now they have a choice. Yes. And they're still still listening to what we have to say. So thank you. (laughs) Thank you. I want to appreciate Michelle Merrick. One of our former students who watches the show every week sends us great inspirational emails. I want to appreciate my dad, William Stoss, and his lady friend, Jan, who watch every week as well on the Internet where it bounces all weird and things. Like on the regular TV, I don't know what about it is about watching it on the Internet, but it gets kind of bouncy sometimes. Especially if you blow it up to the whole screen. It's and then it like, like bounces like this. And if you're bit, watching it right now and it's bouncing and then we do this, <laughs> it's like it's kind of bouncing. But <laughs> I just want to appreciate each and every one of you who tune in. And, and our friend Rob that watches, I know he's really Oh, that's yeah, right. Rob really Danke. Yeah, the show too. he watches the show too. And and these are just people that are immediately popping into my mind. It's like an Oscar speech you haven't prepared for. <laughs> so I know that there's so many people out there to appreciate. And we I'll just start with that. We should start every show with appreciating a few people it's in true. our lives. That would be a great way. When and people tell us, tell me, you know, I get emails and stuff from people and they said they're watching the show. And especially people that I know. And even now, people that have been emailing that I don't know know but I've actually communicated back and forth on email or on the phone mm-hmm. I feel like I'm like I'm sitting in the house with them now like with Michelle and Rob I feel like they're mm-hmm. like now in the show with me part of the studio audience you know? right yeah it's kind of fun so thank you thank you thank you since thank we're you. talking about appreciation and I feel like I know your dad too which is kind of fun your mom and dad it's kind of fun because I've never met Brandy's dad but I know that he watches the show every week so I feel like I know you now and you had that dream that you were at a party like cutting him cake right that's right yeah so there's so. some there's some dream cake for you, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> some dreamy cake. Okay, anyhow. So we, we have a show even, to do. We yeah, have a show to do. We haven't we even, even introduced to... ourselves. Uh, maybe. I'm, I'm, let's see right there. Ooh, oh, start here. Oh, there Brandilyn okay. Jokio. And, and Mitch Friedman. <laughs> there we are, right there. We're certified clinical <laughs> hypnotherapists. So we help people. I said all that stuff I know, I think, already. yeah, now okay. it's sounding really familiar. Yeah. <laughs> right. You know who we are. So today we're actually going to talk about something that is my stepdad, Ernie, who I also appreciate, as well as my mom, Sandy, will say, will fry your pie. If you haven't like learned that. or talked or heard a lot about quantum physics and how that relates to reality, there's some information out there that is really absolutely mind-boggling. And it's not new information. Quantum physics came about in the early 1900s, 1920s. Experiments have been going on for a very long time. But they are so 
amazing, Mitch, that most people actually kind of go, wow, that's cool, and then can't even like wrap their mind around the precept of what we're talking about well, based know, on you, a molecular I, level and reality. 